Mr. Prime Minister. It'll be one moment for President Obama. Introducing the Prime Minister. We're here in the west wing of the White House, inside the White House Situation Room. We host about 25 conferences a day here in the Situation Room, and some 250 guests attending the different meetings throughout the day. In a month, that's over 5,000 visitors and attendees to the different meetings that we have here. It's a state-of-the-art facility, the ability to conduct video teleconferences with 17 or 1,800 entities throughout the world. This is an interagency meeting on H1N1 pandemic, and so it has interagency representatives from the executive branch, uh, departments and agencies. They have the technology here and the capability to bring in other departments and agencies electronically as opposed to having folks face-to-face. -face. The White House Situation Room was created in May of 1961 by the then National Security Advisor, McGeorge Bundy. Uh, they had a voracious appetite for information, particularly President Kennedy. In response to that need, they felt the desire to create a communication center here within the White House. In 2007, the White House Situation Room underwent a major renovation, which greatly expanded the square footage and the capabilities of the White House Situation Room. We went from one principal conference room to three principal conference rooms. This is the large conference room where the President holds the National Security Council meetings. Well, this is the President's chair. He controls the video options, including the microphones. And the traditional lineup of seats is based on the seniority of the different cabinet members attending the meeting. Tied to the executive conference room, is a small breakout room designed to enable the president to take one or two people into a conference room to have a small one-on-one -on -one session with them. And all of the feel that you see here, the types of wood, are designed to replicate the other entities at which the president would participate, places like Air Force One and Camp David, so that wherever the president is, the feel is the same, having the same texture and sound around him.